Hello, everybody. Hello. Afternoon, Don. Hey, Don. Good. How are you guys doing? Don. Are you uh, good doing? evening. All right. Let's see. There we go. And put you guys over here. All right. Let's get into looking at some photographs here. First up is, oh, first up is, are there questions? Anybody have any questions? I, I yeah, have a question. question. Sure. Go ahead. Who, who had a question? Uh, this is Catherine. Yeah. I got a question. I put the wrong photo up and I couldn't figure out how to take it down. Is there a way to take it down after not, you put it up? Not that I know of. Okay. You'd so have to, I've got you have to click on the image, your image. You have to go in here, click on it. Okay. If it's your image, you should have the ability to delete right there, delete photo. Okay. Okay. So that's the one I wanted to delete. Then I've got another one down below that's you want the final one. You want this one gone? I want that one gone. All right. And then there, then there's another one down below that's got the final edit in it. Okay. There it All is. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. I learned something myself. I had no idea how to do that. So. All right. Did someone else have a question? I did, but I'll wait until I get to my picture. Okay. We're going to start off with is kit here you see his kit's uh pepsi shot all right Hello. kit how you doing i'm good so we've got gels here we got colored liquid it's uh gel gelled water or gelled splashes on water okay how did you gel the water without getting the gel onto the can um, I, I shot the can as a kind of a placeholder with the gels and then replaced it with a can that I'd shot separately. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> so you composited in the can. Yes. Very nice. Okay. This logo that Pepsi has here, they're not going to be happy with cola fading off into gray. The shadow line, the non-reflection is fine, but let's get that cola back up to read. We got to make that at least as bright as the S. Doesn't have to be as bright as the P because that's in the highlight itself. <coughs> but figure like the the S and the C, it's got to be that bright. So I would figure Vivesa, kid. Okay. Vivesa would pull it up. Looks really good. Uh, let's look at your lighting here. <coughs> Okay. I flashed a whiteboard and then through the water. Okay, you've got the whiteboard on the left side. That's what, 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 I, what, is what I did is I, I did each side separately. So I put the whiteboard on the left side and then flashed the left water and then moved the whiteboard to the right side and flashed the right water. Okay, got it. So three, basically three composite shots. Got it. All right. Blue gel on one side, purple gel on the other, magenta, whatever. Right. Yeah, cool. Very cool. It's nice and yeah. sharp too, which is, you know, the can looks really nice. I like the little drop. You left a couple drops on there, make it look real. Very good, Kit. Thank you. All right, thanks. Okay. Yep. Luke. Yes, I'm here. 
Hi, Luke. How are you? Fine. Fine. Uh, how many shots? Uh, many. <laughs> uh, I, I filled the, the tank uh, four times. Four times. Okay. It says here you used a white cloud from a different photograph. Yes, the, the, the whites uh, are uh, behind the, 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 the blue and the reds, and here you don't see them. And on other photo, you see only the, the whites and not the blue. <laughs> because I, I changed the, 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 the signals, and they, uh, the, how the, 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 the coming into the water. Very nice. Now, I take it that is a, you had a stand-in bottle and you've replaced it with a clean bottle that you've photographed. Am I right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So Pepsi is selling their yes, they're selling now, it on SodaStream? Yes, it's now SodaStream in Belgium. I'll be darned. I had no idea Pepsi was doing that. Yes. It's a change uh, in, in a month a month ago. Wow. Uh, Luke, this is really well done, my friend. Thank you. Solidly well done. The lighting on the 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 whatever that is that's splashing around in there is uh, uh coffee milk with uh, with uh, cake coloring okay um just looks beautiful and the way you've got it coming in front of the of the the unit there really really looks good thank solid, you solid shot look how much work went into this wow This is a uh, really well done, sir. Thank you. Yeah, if I was, if I were you guys, I'd go ahead and download this. As a matter of fact, I'll probably download it just to have it so I can see exactly what he did. Uh, thank you, Luke, for being so detailed, sir. Thank you. All right, Catherine's got a... That's my behind the scenes. Okay. The picture's down lower. All right, let's see how far down lower it is. Here's your behind the scenes here. It's way down. There it is, the Febreze. All right. Ooh, you've got, uh, you've got some interesting swirls and things going there, don't you? Yeah. How did you do that, Catherine? Well, I um, have a torn rotator cuff, so I couldn't lift anything very heavy. So I had had a, um, a, just a pitcher of water, and I was dropping acrylic ink in it using um, natural daylight. And... Um, shot the the ink separately from the product and then combined them in Photoshop, changed the color of the ink to match the color on the Febreze nice. and then, then put some in back and some in front. <coughs> What's the really dark blue? Is that just a different color ink then? D different color ink, yeah. Very sweet. Really nice. Thank you. Good for you. Look at this. And this is all, all done with natural light? Yes. No, on the on the Febreze itself, there was a continuous uh, continuous light softbox on the right. But on the ink, it was just daylight. Um, this was a different product and a, just a glass instead of the picture, but it was the same, okay. same setup. OK. Softbox on right. Is this the softbox here? Yeah. Yes, it's on the it's on the it's on the right. It's not on the left. So the softbox on the right, the reflector on the left. OK. All right. Well done. Thank you. 
go back. I want to go back to the shot a little bit here. It's you when you took this out of the background, right? You cut this right. Out, right? You see how yeah, you're right. Right, right over here, and you're very bright over here in the background, right? See how this right. see how this feels like it's getting a little reflection from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's lighten this up just a little bit with a like dodging it. Not nearly okay. as much as this, not nearly as much. Just dodge this edge a little bit. So we have the feeling that this bright light is wrapping around this side of the bottle and you only have to go down about to there. Okay. Okay. It can be much smaller okay. than this side. And since it's already on a new layer, it should be very easy to do. Should okay. Be, yeah. That should give us a little, right now it, it looks like it's way in front of the, this in the background. It doesn't look like it's in the same uh, area because this is so beautifully looking like it's reflecting this white thing back here. So, okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So the next one up is, I would imagine it's probably this one, Amy. Oh, hi, hi Amy. Hi. Wow. That's put together really well. Mm. And that is um, multiple and multiple drops of ink. Mm -hmm. and yeah, a few different um, drops of acrylic ink and water. And then I shot the candy cane separately and composited them all together. Uh, the candy cane was a little yellow, so I decided to drop out that color entirely so it looked more like an illustration. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, it looks really good. Thanks. It looks really good. Uh, the, 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 the nice way of doing it this way is that the uh, candy cane's not in the water. Right. <laughs> yeah. It would just sort of dissolve. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Really very nice. Good light all the way up in here. We keep the, we keep the candy cane. Um, mm -hmm. Losing the candy cane right there. If it's on a new mm -hmm. layer, right, a Amy? Mm -hmm. yep. then I, you know that I would burn this edge ever mm -hmm. so slightly just so we feel it going around the backside. Okay. A little bit of a burn, okay? Maybe right in here as well. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe there. Everything else looks pretty good. Just we want to we don't want to lose the candy cane into the background. Oh, that's that's what I was doing on purpose, actually. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can bring it back, definitely, but I, I brightened it so it would bleed into the background. Got it. So, so that yeah, by an illustration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, is there a behind the scenes or? There is. So big soft on top, and then mm -hmm. you got both then, on each side of these, right? Uh, no, just from the left. I, I brought in a, a white card on the right for the candy cane, but I, I lit the um, the ink only from the top and behind. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. This big white... Um, Mm -hmm. thing behind it's picking up some light from both of these uh -huh. and and wrapping around here just ever so slightly which gives it a nice round feeling that's very mm -hmm. cool good thank idea you. thanks good idea well executed amy thank you yeah steven okay yes afternoon Hi. So we got a backdrop with a speed light aiming at it and a speed light aiming at the subject. Correct. And okay, and a pan of water. Let's see what all of this gives us. Whoa, gosh, that's cool. <coughs> and all it took was 350 other shots. Yep. Something like that. I don't know. You know, uh, Ansel Adams famously said that for him, if he could get 10 good shots in a year, he would consider that 
a good year. And I think I think we photographers lose sight of of that a little bit. We're we're expecting to get ten good shots every time we go out. That being said, is this a single photograph? That is a single shot, yes, sir. That's just impressive as hell. That's really impressive. That's a, that you're gonna make a print out of this, I imagine. Well, I, out of the about 350 attempts, um, I think I started with um, just clear water, trying to figure out the timing of the drops and all that good stuff. Uh -huh. um, and oddly, I, it kind of repeats itself. The first 10 shots were, I was getting close to that or I was achieving that. So then I started adding one color to the pan just to see if I could get it to splash out nice with one drop. Oh, I'm sorry we're keeping you awake there, Don. Sorry. <laughs> it's like up. being back in school watching my students. <laughs> I apologize for that very much. Yes. Um, you got it's all okay. you got all the different gels in it now. There are no gels in this. This no, is the, back, you the backdrop is reflecting into the water. The water is um, at this point in time, it's probably a mix of red and blue. And how that turns into green in the top, I have no idea, but it did. So I left it in. Well, yeah, why not? That's very cool. It's just yeah, a, I, I uh, saw it and thought, oh, it's a butterfly, and then moved on and kept going. Let's see if we can do better than that. Yeah, it's a, uh, I love this little guy up here. Just yep, that was pure chance. There have been, I, there are some spray things that I cleaned up. Um, down at the bottom, there are a couple of bubbles and there's a couple of flyaways that are out of focus and I just cloned you know, them out. Even, I would I would look at printing it. I would actually look at printing um, printing it on metallic paper, Stephen. Oh, yeah. Because it would just, just come right off the top. But also, you may have a shot right here, right? Well, I have plenty of those. You not quite that high right without this butterfly effect up there just this tower up to the top there is stunning by itself so you could uh, possibly i would do this i would honestly i would take this out of, of of a frame and then print two of them eight by tens or whatever size you print print two of them just live with them for a week just you know tack them on your bulletin board the two of them next to each other by next by this time next week you're going to know which one you really really like <laughs> yeah cool. then, make, then make a big one make a big one very cool thank you steven thank you yep mr Cray mr kindred mr kid greg 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 how are you tonight yeah oh there he is Really yep. good, sir. How are you? I'm good. This looks like uh, ribbons down here. Yeah, it's uh, pretty funkified. What is the, what is the? It's ink. It's. Uh, are we looking at it upside down? Yeah. Okay. So this is. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, uh, no, it hit the bottom of the tank, so uh, the ink is not upside down. So this is the ink coming bouncing off the bottom of it. Yes. All right. So the only, and I took off, you know, it probably bled off the top of the page and I cleaned that up from. Oh, okay. All right. Did you like pour it in with a, did you pour the colors in at the same time, like next to each other or something? Right. Two squeeze bottles at the same time. Got it. Oh, man. And, that... and this is a composite. The camera was shot separate. Yep. Did you put this up on, uh, when you put this on Instagram, you want to tag Red Bull. Okay. Sounds good. Absolutely. And I think when you put it on, um, if you do a LinkedIn post, you want to tag them as well. Okay. Just let them see what you got. That's pretty, pretty darn cool. Look at your lighting here. So two translums. Yeah. Uh, are you using the medium translum? Um, I, I honestly, now I can't remember. I think it probably is the medium. 
um, I would say this to everybody, if you're thinking about getting translum, and you should be, if you like doing this kind of work, um, the, a roll of translum like this will last you a decade. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna hurt it. It's plastic paper is essentially what it is. Uh, and if you take care of it, it'll last a long, long time. Um, but it's beautiful, made for photography. It's made for diffusion screen. It's really beautiful material. Um, they make three thicknesses. They make, you know, thick, medium, and thin. So just think of it as like uh, Papa Bear and Mama Bear's bed. You want Mama Bear. You want the medium one. The thick one is very thick. It's used for specialty. It falls off real fast. So if you put a light up close to it, it just falls off immediately. The thin, you can see the light through it. So you want to be very careful with any kind of... <coughs> shiny objects, you can actually see the lights coming through it. It's the medium one that we want for product. So very good. And it's just in case, in case anybody's wondering, I, this is one roll and I rolled it out and cut it in half. So that gave me my two sides. Yeah. Uh, so you, you, don't might have really, to, you don't have to buy two rolls. No. And you can, you can pull off four feet of it and make a solid scrim if you want and still have plenty left on the roll. Plenty left on the roll. I don't know how long it is. What is it, Greg? What would you think? Uh, I don't know, at least 12 feet. Yeah, so it's it's plenty of translum. It's not terribly expensive. It's not cheap, but it's not terribly expensive for what you get. Uh, really good, really good, sir. Well, well designed shot, well thought out. Thank you. I like it. Ryan, oh, that's really nice, Ryan. Thanks. Oh, nice feeling. I wanted to talk to, uh, I think it's Greg and Luke. The thing I don't like about this is I can't see the, the contours of the, I don't know what you call it, the poofy ink. I, I, I just could not get it to be as defined like where, that last Red Bull. Where is your, are these are your lights here? Yeah, yes. Okay. First I did it, first I did it with a white background. And I just could not get the detail that I was really, really, really looking for. I mean, out of the entire class, this is what I really, really wanted to do. Okay. And it came out nice, but I just wanted well, there's to some contour that. in it. There is some contour in it. One of it things is, I believe, I honestly believe it's a little underexposed. Okay. Okay. So bear with me here. So you should be seeing my Photoshop. I am. All right. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of cheat, you know, in a way. Um, I'm going to use Nick, the Nick collection. Do you know the yeah. Nick collection? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to use the Nick collection. I'm going to go to Nick Color Effects Pro. Move it over here so you can see it all. And... This is the one that I want to use, which is Pro Contrast, but I don't think I want to use that one. I think I want to use that one. You see, we see more highlights, right? Okay. Look at that. Right? Okay. Now it's also making this green. We don't <laughs> we don't All want right. to do that. So we're going to lower this one up here to get it. Down the other right problem there. My whole idea was to have a nice sticking into a pile of black sand and you can barely see the sand in this. Oh, I and see it right there. Yeah, now I'm, I'm yeah. seeing it here. I didn't see it in the other one. And then have this blue and black together or like a dark gray, but the black did not show up at all. So I could abandon that like halfway through the week. But this was driving me crazy because I started with uh, acrylic paint. Uh-huh. That didn't work. Then I went to condensed milk. They worked, but they didn't give me the texture like that Red Bull picture you just did. And so Greg, what you, really you, just, you just used printer's ink, you said? No, it's acrylic ink. Right. And that's what I ended up using with this. This is blue acrylic ink. And looking at it, I could see the detail with my eyes. But when the picture came out, it just wasn't as detailed. So. Yeah, I just, I, and I don't know the answer to that. I'm wondering, it might, it, 
just may actually be the blue being the Brian, point. did you have a light from behind? Um, I did when it was the white background, but when I put up the black card, I killed the, the light from behind. It didn't make sense. So I just had the two side lights, the two strip box on the side. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this right here. Uh, I just made a new layer. I'm going to turn that layer to overlay and add the fill with overlay right here. Um, and I'm going to change my colors to black and white, put white in the foreground, take a brush, little simple brush here, and I'm going to look for highlights there. Oh, opacity 10%. I'm going to look for highlights that are in it too, and I'm going to paint those highlights just a little bit. See if I can pull them out this way. Oh, I, I can do it in Photoshop. I can pull out um, yeah. like dodging and burning and whatnot. I yeah, was just yeah. curious, how do you do it in camera? Yeah, uh, I don't know what, the, uh, there's got to be something different about what you're doing than what they're doing. Right. So, um, it looks like both of the shots had fully surrounding light. Were, like he was using transloom and on top where I was yeah, just well, you've using- got two, You've got two lights on the side, right? Right. They should be the same. He's just using transloom and you're using what, soft boxes? Right. Yeah. Well, my the transloom I used was just for the can shot. So I had an aquarium. I had two speed lights on either side of the aquarium, left and right, and a uh, Explorer 600 in the back shooting through transloom in the back. Well, let, let me ask you this. Um, how was your water warm or cold? I have no idea. I do know I, I went through a lot of water. I, you'll see in the behind the scenes, I had that little cereal box type tank. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I must have done that at least 50 times. Changed out that water. Interesting. My, my water was, uh, was cold. Is that what it, you have to do cold water? Is that it? Is? That's what it is? I, I have used uh, cold water and uh, coffee milk and uh, cake coloring, but uh, the, the food coloring is an other uh, material than the cake coloring. Well, there's two other possibilities. Um, um, Greg, were you using cold or, or warm water? Do you remember? Well, it was probably cold because I refilled out of a hose. Okay, probably cold in Kansas City. All right, so that's a, that's a possibility, Brian. Okay. Okay. Possible, okay. Something else now that you said. Let's look at your behind the scenes. These two Godox. What are these lights here? What are what what are these? Uh, Godox eighty two hundreds. Correct. And they're turned to what power? Um, I think they they were at a quarter. Okay. Well, it's not that then. I was wondering if what we're seeing is not what we think we're seeing, but what we're seeing is that there's a blur to it. But uh, not at not with eighty two hundreds at a quarter power. You should have, it should have froze it pretty well, and the edges do look pretty sharp. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, this is one that I'm gonna do. Yeah. At least you know a couple more, you know, six seven more times. In my Absolutely. Um, you'd you'd never. <laughs> whenever something beats you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go back because you can't like let it go. I I, I just I can't. I mean, I, and I would never I agree. Yeah, it's like nope. I'm winning this. I'm gonna figure it out. So when you do figure it out, let us know, okay? Nice. Yeah, the, other, <clears throat> the other light on the on the top is is also working or not? No, that was when I was uh, doing it with the white background before I gave up on the white background before. Uh, so the, the back scrim there that the black card is in front of, yeah. I was shooting through that in the back, through the scrim, the diffuser that's on top, and the two white, and the two. And this flash is buttons. not going off, is it? Not in those pictures, no. Okay, all right. When it was white, all four were going off. Got it. Okay. I I put a, a link in the in the chat with uh, with uh, the the, the truck of uh, Rick uh, Mat Mat Matkowski from okay. the the, uh, the high high pass filters. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, thank you. You bet. All right, Anna Marie. Hello. Hi, Anna Marie. How are you? Good. So pretty, all this color down here. Where did okay? It's funny, it like looks it looks so faded in this on this screen now. Oh, but maybe I, it's just well. You remember when you put it up, Photoshop just kills it to to shrink it down to the smallest possible size it can be for their servers. And then when it comes back through here, it's going through Zoom, which is killing it again. So, yeah. It's fussy and faded. Yeah. Um, what's the green? Oh, uh, this is all water. This is actually just water with different kind of gels. OK. Oh, so it's it's uh, it's actually I, I glued the bottle to an acrylic little sheet. I was blanching it and shooting like crazy, blanching and blanching and blanching and, and shooting. And then I had a blue gel behind. And then, then I had some colored, uh, I had some speed lights with gels. But then I, what happened, I was just so many reflections on the aquarium uh -huh. and, and I just, I just couldn't, the background became out like garbage. And right. then I just did it, redid it again with, with, you know, it's the same shape, but I had to redo it in Photoshop. Part but of now, getting uh, reflections is that your light is coming from this, this light's working, right? I have no idea where the reflections are. It just like, just I'm, absolutely drove me nuts. I know, but this light is firing, isn't it? Yeah, they're all firing. Yeah. So it's firing from the front, creating a glare here. That's yeah. where you're getting the reflection. If you move the light to the side and come in the side of it this way, you won't yeah. get that reflection. Okay. Whenever you light, if you light from the front, it's going to bounce off whatever that surface is. That's why you got to okay. light from the back or light from the side. Um, yeah, and it and sometimes a polarizer will work. Sometimes it won't. Depends on the angle and all kinds of things. So what about the polarizer? I yeah. <coughs> okay. And then I have another version of it, but I didn't post it, but. But well, this, this like I just this is more about the trying the technique than the actual end result. I really like the right? color, the uh, the water with gels, and then I didn't have to empty the tank all the time. So, uh -huh. and this is upside down, correct? Yep. Yep. Plunging in the water, you know, there's little things on here that I like so much. I love the little shadows behind these bubbles there. That's so cool. Um, it's hard to see that it's upside down. It really does. It looks like it's floating in a stormy sea of... Uh, yep. And then I did a version where I actually put a traumatic sky behind it. And I'm not sure that came a little bit maybe cheesy. There's drama for sure, but... <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, I, 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 I think you're onto something. I like it, but I know you can do it better. I know you yes. know you can do it better. So um, I hope I can do it better. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure you can. I think you can really pull it out. One thing that bothers me is we're seeing your room. Do you see that? That's like yep. some lamps and chairs and there's other stuff over there. Close this set off so that you own okay. every reflection that that gives you is yours. White cards, okay. black cards even. If you want more drama, go with black cards. We get that you know, kind of really cool thing um, with the darkness and the light and everything and get your lights moved more to the side. Even if they're coming from the corner of the aquarium, Anna Marie, mm -hmm. you won't get that. You won't get that right back in. So, okay. Yeah. Glass, camera, light. Light hits yeah. glass, bounces into the camera. Move the light mm -hmm. over here, light hits the glass, bounces past the camera. So the okay. camera doesn't see the reflection. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. I mean, I, it's more of a test 
and like a sketch than actual but i i just wanted to try the technique and i liked what i saw but it wasn't where i wanted it to be okay well you keep playing with it and it's not like i said it's not rocket science you'll pick it up you'll, you'll make it work yeah, yeah hope so yeah oh this is ravens is raven here raven yeah all right raven are these flowers you are muted. Yeah, sorry. For some reason, I'd hit spacebar and it wasn't working. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is a flower in the center. So cool. I, I just wanted to see like what the ink. Well, it's actually food coloring because I couldn't. I apparently bought the wrong kinds of acrylics. I just wanted to see what it would do when it hit something like that. So is the flower submerged and then you poured the ink in or did you put the ink in the flower and then do it? The flower is submerged. Okay. And this is all is down one shot. Top. Sorry, what? And the food coloring is coming down from the top. Yeah. It's so dramatic. It's, it's, it's very cool. One flower, one rose? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How many, ex looks like multiple exposures. Is it multiple exposures or just one shot? Just one shot, but like I had previously done the yellow, so it's sort of floating around back there and then I dumped. Ah, the clever. So you dump the yellow in behind the flower to just let it sort of, okay, that's very, that's very nice. What a neat idea. I like it. Yeah, I want to do more yeah. of these. I want to get the right, that acrylic ink stuff that makes those other shapes because this wasn't making those shapes other people are getting. It gave me an idea. I was, I'm thinking, what if I put the ink in the flower, in the petal, pull the petals apart, put the ink down there and then push the flower through the water with the ink trail? Oh, I don't know. I had more yeah. flowers. This one kind of fell apart. <laughs> It's not, it's, you're supposed to water the roses. This might be a little over the top, you know, just a bit much. That's very, that's very clever and really well thought out, Raven. Um, oh, I just realized I uploaded the wrong picture. That is not the right picture. <laughs> that's from last week. Oops. The setup is pretty similar though. Oh, okay. This is your setup. Um, oh, okay. Actually, I didn't have a scrim. I had a second speed light bouncing off a white background and one in front. Okay. Very cool. Very nice. Really nice. Okay, Dan. Hi. Hi. Dan Dan is gonna Dan is now gonna try to tell us this was a single shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tough part was getting the crayons to fall at an angle. Damn. Um, Dan, this is very clever, man. This is, uh, so this is multiple shots combined together. Right. <clears throat> yeah. The crayons I, I took in one picture and then I, I just did a series of different, uh, colors of acrylic paint in water. And you're just shooting that acrylic paint into the water to get it to jet down real quick. Yeah. How many, how many, um, shots did you did it have to, did you have to do to get that? Oh, there was probably anywhere from three to six uh, injections of each color. Okay. Um, and, and I'll tell you, the thing that got me is, is the direction of the light, because after I did it, it just, it wasn't making sense here because I inverted the, the plumes, the light was on the wrong side. So I had to go back and, and flip them all in Photoshop and redo it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You do have pretty heavy left side light and the crayons are a little bit not heavy side light. But they're not bad. They're not bad. Um, if I were you, I'd reshoot the crayons with a little bit heavier left side light. You see that? Okay. Yeah. They're, they're kind of flat 
and those puffs are not flat at all. They're they're contrast to that light. Um, I I'd, I'd do that. I think it'd be worth it. I think it's a clever shot. I do think it'd be worth it. And they're all on layers, so it'd be easy to. You might you might actually shoot the crayons individually, so that you can drop them back in. Oh no! If you shot them all together, all the all the plumes are on the different layers. Yeah, and I did actually move the crayons just slightly. I did end up cutting them out, and uh, so yeah. Very cool. This would make a great ad. Catch people's eyes, you know, whether it's crayon or ink. You know, do you paint? Do you do crayons? Yeah, just a little. You know, I was I was wondering about Ryan's issue if it was the soft light might be one of the factors, because you know I'm I'm hitting that with a pretty hard light to get all that texture. Oh, Ryan, that's an idea too. Let's ask Greg. Greg, were you using small lights or no? You were using um, um, scrims. Did you have your light close to the scrim? Well, for the can shot. No, 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 for the ink. Oh, I didn't. The scrim uh, from behind in the light was probably three feet behind, uh, further back just to give it a little more spread. So the scrim on the ink shot is in the back of the aquarium, not on the sides. Got it. And on the sides are hard lights? On the sides are two speed lights. Just there like you go. This. Ryan? Shooting straight into the aquarium. That may be it. Uh, I was I was just noticing, I was just noticing the contrast in the clouds when when you were showing that one. I was thinking that myself. Yep. I think that very much might be it. Yep. Certainly could be. It's a good place to start. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Very good. Nice little set here, Dan. Thanks. Cool shot, Lauren. What's up, Doug? Hi. Well, you got your blue in the bottom. You got your red up in here, and you got your orange all the way up there. Nice, nice. Very nice little um, line around the side there. Nice little uh, highlight right around the side. That looks good. Product is lit very well. Uh, tell me how you did it, Lauren. Well, the uh, <clears throat> the background color is uh, three uh, acrylic inks that were shot into an aquarium at the same time, and to give me the the flow. Uh, and then I I did the uh, I did the can separately. And I lit that, you know, going back to day one of P52 is you light what the subject reflects. Right. So I had a, uh, I had two car two white cards on the right hand side uh, of the, of the can or on the right and the left. And then I had the, uh, uh, I had a huge uh, white foam core. Uh, that was being used as a bounce for over the top okay. for the speed light. So I was I was lighting the the foam core to light the bottle. Got it. And you did did a nice job. Yeah, bottle looks really good. Background looks fine. Definitely looks like a like an ad product because your 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 item is is done so nicely. Thank you. Very good, sir. Very good. Carla. Wow. Hi, Don. Hi, Carla. Hi. Look at this. This is so mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had something in my mind. It didn't kind of like come across to what I had, but I think it looks cool. <laughs> I think it looks cool. What is this? This looks like bubbles spinning. I, I think they are bubbles like on the glass. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you shoot the, is this like label photoshopped on or? No, everything is done in one shot. 
One shot. Wow. Yeah. Your label looks great. Thanks. It looks like there's, you know, swirling snow or something going by it. Yeah, I think the fish tank wasn't like properly clean, but I think it kind of helped. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. I just read that it's hand soap. I thought it was whiskey. <laughs> you don't want to make that mistake late at night, by the way. <laughs> Um, it, it actually looked with the with the lines going across. It actually looks like there's a wind blowing. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, exactly. It looks like there's like like you know just you know blowing through and it, very nice. Yeah, I want it uh, to be more Christmassy because it's supposed to be like a Christmas fragrance, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the idea wasn't. Well, right. look what look what you've done very well. This is all gold, right? Gold leaf. Yeah. That looks great. The logo looks great. All this mysterious red stuff floating around in here looks really mysterious. The white stuff kind of looks cool, but if it really is crap on the on the glass, it could be a problem. Um, all remember, Carla. <clears throat> after yeah. you show this to a client, and they go, "Oh, that's really cool. Can you do that for us?" You kind of go, "I don't know how to make my 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 aquarium be dirty again like that. It's, <laughs> it was too serendipitous." Um, but it, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, I would say take the same shot, put it in Photoshop, and use the dust and scratch filter to get okay. rid of the little spots, and then let them sit side by side and and figure out which one you really like. This is a it could be a very cool effect. These these are bubbles, right? Little bubbles. Yeah, very little. Yeah. Yeah, could be a very, very cool effect. Uh, now, is this red food coloring or is this red gel that you've got on going on? No, here? it is acrylic uh, tint. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't work like the other ones in the photos. I don't know. Uh, did anybody try to to try to use nail polish? I just thought of that when you said acrylic. I just, did anybody try to use nail polish? I wonder what nail polish would do. It could either look really cool or it could look really, really bad. God, I think with as with as uh, dense as nail polish is, I think that it would probably just stick right to the bottom. And it would totally ruin whatever, like tank or vase or whatever you have. It would just, it would be gone. Like hold on for a second, yes. There it is. Question for the group. Did anyone, um, when I was starting off, I took acrylic paint and mixed it with water to make the, uh, the cloud. And it wasn't until yesterday that I started using acrylic dye or ink, excuse me. Did anyone dilute acrylic ink? Does that work? I didn't try that at all. I just used food coloring. Yeah, Ryan, this is Dan. I just used I just used acrylic paint and I diluted it probably about four, four to one, five to one. And I, I switched it around in a brandy snifter and that mixed it up real well. And and it worked pretty well. There were were bubbles in it though. <clears throat> okay. Now that you said the, the hard light, I'm thinking the acrylic paint would work probably just as good as the ink but i did like the way the ink looked in person yeah i i liked yours because i thought it was nice and smooth okay yeah yeah the, the, and, and remember ryan um it can be a nice shot but but the, the important thing is the most important thing is did it turn out the way you wanted it to because <clears throat> you can we can serendipitously get a nice shot i thought it was pretty cool with the knife. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't know you wanted those edges, right? So I wouldn't have known that. Uh, but it is it is scary for us as photographers. We want it to turn out the way we wanted it to turn out. Then we'll adjust it from there. That That's pretty much it. I mean, yeah. overall, I think it turned out to be a nice shot, but I just really wanted that contour and contrast in the clouds. Well, I bet if you pull up the two speed lights, you'll have it. Well, I'm doing that tonight. Yep. Yeah. Cool.
All right, well, that's the last image. So, okay, are there any questions? Thank you so much for coming along on this thing tonight, how fun this is. Hey, I was okay, just- I have a question. Um, sorry, I have a question. Who's that, Anna Marie? Uh, this is Anna Marie. Um, the, the little like puddle pool thing that we are gonna do, um, is it, like how are you gonna do that little blow puddle thingy? <laughs> Or is that something we just have to figure out? Um, hold on, you mean the next class? Yeah, next assignment. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have some ideas how to do it, but I'm just wondering if somebody has like- There's several done ways. It and knows. Several ways to do it. One thing you can do is very shallow, right? Yeah shallow water um, and just drop it. Or if it's like a, let's say a cake pan, right? I mean a cookie sheet. So it's got that little bit of water, right? Strike it from below, go pop it from below and it will do its thing. Or photograph the bottle. Let's take this one here, photograph the bottle. And then in this little shallow water, drop a, something around a hockey puck or a, you know, a block of wood and then Photoshop this back in. I believe that's what this photographer did. Coaster might work as well. Coaster, something like that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, uh, yeah, like that triple looks very, I don't know. I'm not saying I know the answer, but one of the things I was going to try was to put a single drop of water, catch the splash, and just enlarge it, and then put my product inside. You could do that. You could remember, and remember, these ripples could be started first. You could drop a penny to get the ripples going, and then drop something bigger, like a tennis ball or something, or a golf ball, get the second splash, and put them together, or try to do it in in. Uh, um, yeah, you'd have to put them together, get the ripples going, and then do this, and then uh, put it up, and then Photoshop in the in the unit. Yeah, I have I have no problem photoshopping. I could just Photoshop everything. Just so if you create drop, photo, you drop Photoshop. The penny, you drop the penny, the ripples start going out. You drop the golf ball, and you get the splash. Now you've got the splash and the ripples in one shot, mm -hmm. and then re replace it. So. Yeah, a little, a little tricky, but a little tricky, but you'll get it. Well done. In, in that description, right, scroll down a little bit. It says in natural water. Are they just saying clear white water? Is that, is that what the brief is asking for? Yeah, yeah. Not milk. In other words, okay. not milk, not, uh, not red food coloring, you know, fresh and clean looking. Okay. Hey, I've got one other suggestion for your group. Uh, you can hang your product upside down into a, your aquarium and then uh, basically make a splash into the aquarium, not a splash, but I mean, drop water or you know, subtly touch it with your finger. And then you've got your product hanging there and your ripples of water go out from the product. Great. Do you have one of those on your portfolio? Well, if you scroll down, the, Don, in this on this page right here, this uh, that's how I did that Irish Spring. Right. And, and then you, and then the splash is secondary. But the ripples are the product is hanging upside down in the aquarium, and the ripples are totally natural. And then the splash I I put in secondary. Okay, and the splash is done. By yeah. holding the top of the Irish Spring bottle and jamming it into a very shallow pool of water. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think somebody else had that too. I think that. Uh, Was it this Nivea done that way? Carla, I think Carla did the Nivea this way too. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, this is this is the Nivea bottle upside down in the aquarium. And then she splashed it into something and put that in as well. 
No, that's not hard. I, I saw the video. It should like three different shots and she was slamming it in. Oh, she was slamming it in? Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, this is this is beautiful. This is my goal. I want to want it to look like this. <laughs> there you go. Good. I think the one you're thinking about is right there, the blue one with the black cap. That right there. Oh, okay. Because I was actually thinking of doing that myself. And then I saw the video and I was like, darn, she took it. Yep. Some talented people out there in the photography world. Absolutely. Oh, there's Carla's behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. All right. So she's adding, she's got like a cookie sheet or something. It was a little bit of water and then she's throwing it into the, at the, the unit. All right. That's cool. Um, believe me, it's, uh, you know, Carla's attention to detail is really paying off. She is, she lives in a little town in uh, South Africa. She's about, Greg, do you remember? She says she's like two hours from Cape Town, two and a half hours, something like that. I've got all kinds of sirens running by my house, but um, I don't think it's quite that far from Cape Town, but. Because I know she can go into Cape Town and back in the same day. Yeah. But it's it's a bit of a drive. Uh, it's just a little town. And um, she's getting some pretty good work. She's real busy this week. She's real busy next week. Um, enough. She's getting enough work that when she asked her husband if she could uh, turn some uh, bedroom or something into a studio... He said, oh, let's go down to the, the, they own a restaurant, went down to the restaurant. He cleared out the storeroom for her. Now she's got this gorgeous, I think maybe 1,000 foot, 1,200 square foot studio now. So she's really, really happy. You can do a lot from a, you can do a lot from a living room, that's for sure. All right, any questions? All right, I'm putting together the, um, the uh, boop, 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 boop. I'm putting together the um, portrait class. That should be fun. Uh, and we'll get that all that information for you soon. Um, so you can plan for that if you want to do it. Uh, if you think if any of you are thinking about project 52, I have two slots left. Just two. Um, jump in and we do this every week with all kinds of crazy assignments. Carla, you're in, right? Yeah, I remember I saw your stuff come through. Yep. Yes, I am. Yep. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It, it always is a lot of fun. What do you think, Greg? You like it? Project 50? It's, out, it's outstanding, you guys. It really is a great experience. Nothing else lots like of, it on the web. Lots of love yep. the varied assignments. So. Yep. All right, guys. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Uh, we will see you all next week with some very beautiful shots. And uh, I uh, uh, just will tell you, just pass this on. Don't get wet. Everybody have a good one. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.